Kamala Harris picked up VP Joe Biden. I mean... Get right, Vegas. James Sutton. Good morning, everybody. So we got Kamala Harris as the new VP. I know I made a little joke at the beginning, but it kind of seems like Joe Biden is a VP. And uh, I believe that's kind of what that's going to be kind of made out to be. I don't know why I got this gut feeling that um, this is pretty much set up to be that way, you know. But anyway, I want to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel, checking me out, listening to what I got to say. Everybody that know that listen to me even just a little bit know that I only speak my opinion. Hey, like I say in every video, just about do your own research. Go check this out for yourself. It's just, um, you know, that's the wise way of doing things. I also believe that's why a lot of people have a lot of ill feelings towards President Trump because they don't go look at the information for themselves. Kamala Harris, she's the new VP. I believe that hurt Joe Biden. I really do. I think they think they got some type of one to twin power type of uh, uh, organization now where they're going to come out and just knock Trump out. I doubt that's going to happen very, very seriously. Wait and see, right? This is why I think that Kamala Harris won't be as powerful as what people think that she will be, right? Yeah, I know she was a tough prosecutor, tough on crime and tough on marijuana, weed smokers, right? She wasn't really big on the, the cartel part about it, but she was big on locking people up who smoke weed, right? You know, but uh, the young vote, once people get to see exactly what Kamala Harris is all about, exactly what her her stilo is, what type of woman she is, and people will, they will dig into it, you know, they think they're going to get this, uh, this, um, middle class, suburban mother, mom type of, uh, vote right here, but I don't think so, you know, if, if anybody listened to her, um, introduction speech, um, to being VP, you know, she, uh, made reference to Black Lives Matter, which I thought that was a big mistake on her, on her behalf, right, um, I really do. She said nothing about the crime in Chicago or 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 or, or all these cities that said Seattle or or Minnesota, New York. She 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 said nothing about the crime and the people getting hurt there. Their main agenda is to go after President Trump. I think that's going to hurt her, right? I believe the young people will see after they do their research. She makes a lot of accusations which aren't true, you know. Uh, just about the COVID stuff, like uh, you know, all the Democrats is making that 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 assumption or 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 trying to accuse President Trump. That's a whole bunch of bull in the first place. You know, that's just common sense. You know, we all know where it came from. You know where it came from. But with that being said, also she's trying to downplay the economy and how bad the economy is and how good it was when Obama was in. Which you know, when when people get to see that all this stuff is false when they really get and, and, I, and I i challenge you to go look up this stuff for yourself you know don't sit there and listen to what camilla me or anybody else say about it go do your research and check this out for yourself this is your country you should you should know what's going on with this i'm a christian right and i hear and i'm getting on this and i'm gonna get back on what i'm saying but i want to make this statement i hear some people saying that christians shouldn't be in politics and, and that's the most goofiest, silliest thing I ever heard in my life. Like, why wouldn't you want to be a part of the country that you live in and know what's going on? Change laws. If things aren't going right, make them right. I'm not saying you have to be a politician. You know, and I want to say this because I know it's a lot of black people that's born Democrats. That's why a lot of black people have a mis some misguidance on what's going on as far as Democrat and Republican. Because I did, right? But... Back to Camilla. Camilla's phony, man. Camilla's the most phoniest person. And people will see this. The young voters will see this. People that have already seen what, what she's about has already seen this. You know, just this tells you right here. Camilla is only in there for power and to get an inch closer into the White House. That's it. She don't care about the people. She care about her own political um stance and where she's at and, and how close she can get into the white house in my personal opinion i see them kind of pushing joe biden out if unfortunately he becomes president i see camilla and them pushing him out where she becomes you know in that 
position. I really do see that because everybody knows Joe Biden. He see now. He really ain't, he really don't know where he at, or what country he in, and what state he really in. Who who he running against? He's picking people that once called him a racist. That's what Camilla Harris called Joe Biden at the Democratic um, debate just not too long ago. She basically called him a racist, and um, and he picked her. So you know that this is only for power and for Joe Biden just to win the presidential um thing over Trump. He he don't care about what goes on in the country. He don't care about black folks, you know, just from the comments that you guys heard him say a few times. He really don't care about black people. You know what I mean? Their main agenda main agenda is to get Trump out of office, not to help the American people, not not to not to do good for the country. It's to get Trump out of office. That's it. When time goes on and people really get to see what's going on, they're going to see, hey, man, this is all a hoax. I'm sure everybody know or about that what I stand for to watch my video. Just still Trump 2020. I believe Trump going to pull this out pretty easy, even easier now because he picked Camilla. Because people is going to really see, you know, this lady is phony, you know. And I also have a funny feeling that, all the runner-up and the nominees that, that, that Biden had, as far as all the women, you know, uh, I believe they're all going to have a part to play if he becomes president. It, it, this Biden will have nothing to do with being the president, y'all. If he is elected for president, they're going to say after a while he, that he's too old. And, you know, and I, I like I said, I don't. I, I don't I I believe in my in my spirit that he won't become president. I'm just saying if I don't know what God has planned, right? We all we know no one knows that. I'm just saying hypothetically, if he becomes president, um, it will only be for a short time because this is all rigged. And if anybody's paying attention, you kind of see what's going on. You know, um, Christians are under attack like I don't even know what in this country. And I'm saying this for a reason. You got people calling Christianity a white uh, religion. We make this like this is a European um, religion only. You know, really, who cares if if Christianity is a, a European um, faith or religion? Which is is not. It comes from the Middle East. Jesus was Jewish. You know. And, you know. I'm, I'm, I thought everybody knew that. But you know, you got that agenda going because you got uh, Black Lives Matter. You got Antifa. You got all these hate groups against um white people and, and and anybody else who who disagree with them even black pe people right you got blm against black people who who don't believe in what they stand for like myself so you got people like us that they call coons and sellouts and all this other crap that they call you know amongst others you know that i see um that's on a bigger platform like jesse lee peterson abl i listen to him a lot uh brandon T tatum you know, Candace Owens, Larry Elders, you know, all the people that's really caring about black people, that's really trying to do something for black people and all people, that's that's who they call coons and sell out because we don't agree with their evil agenda. You know what I mean? And it's all a spiritual thing, y'all. I know I'm kind of bouncing back, but I'm trying to tie this all into one thing. And it's all trying to get tied into with power and deception. You will see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna end this video go love somebody matthew 633 go out and vote trump 2020 don't take my word for who to vote for let god put that on your spirit who to vote for and uh i will talk to you next video man enjoy your day and don't a hey, live in the moment live in the presence because that's what god at talk to you next video